Okay, video number three. Here are some of the subnetting rules. And if you can get to the place where you understand this, this will make this process a lot easier. Okay, the first thing we're going to deal with, we're not going to deal with the actual subnet mask. We're going to work with the IP address first. The IP address cannot be all ones, cannot be all zeros. Now let's move on to the subnet mask. For a subnet mask to be valid, all the numbers to the left have to be on. In other words, ones. All the numbers to the right have to be off. They cannot be interspersed. Here's a perfect example of a good subnet mask. And the written out the way it is, it's 255, 255, 255.0. Remember, all the bits on is 255. All the bits off are zero. So, here we come down to an invalid subnet mask. This one actually ends up being 255.127.255.0. There is a zero interspersed in here. It cannot work. All right, now for a valid subnet mask, they're going to only end in certain numbers. And right now we're just going to deal with a fourth octet, so just stay with that. If all the bits are off in the fourth octet, it is zero. And remember, it always has to be to the left. So if we're going to turn on a bit, we have to start at the leftmost bit and then keep moving to the right. Now, typically what that's doing is giving us more subnets, less IP addresses. But let's get this down first. All right. The first bit to the left is 128. Add in the second bit, which is 64. Now you got 192. Add in the third bit, which is 32. Now you've got... 224. Add in the fourth bit, 16, you got 240. Add in the next bit, you got 8, which is 248, then 252, then 254, and 255. And I will show you a chart on the next lesson where we'll actually go in and start doing some subnetting as to which ones you cannot use for subnetting. Okay, here's some other things to actually concentrate on. One is the network ID is always going to end in an even number in the fourth octet. I don't care where you're working on the subnetting. If you're doing in a class, you know, see if you're in the third octet, doesn't matter. Okay, it will always end in an even number. It'll also be the lowest number. And it'll also be the first number of the subnet. The first usable is always one higher than your network ID. And it's always going to be an odd number. Now, I kept, I jump all the way to the very top of this subnet. I go to the broadcast address. It'll always end in a odd number in the fourth octet. And it is the highest number and the last number in that subnet. It's also one less than the next network ID. When we get into subnetting, that's going to be helpful for you to understand. Okay, the last usable is always one less than the broadcast, and since the broadcast is an odd number, the last usable has to be an even number in that fourth octet. And, of course, when we get down to the subnetting, you can't use the network ID, and you can't use the broadcast address to assign to any device within the network. Those two are always taken away. You always lose those two addresses. Okay, now on to actual subnetting.